biggest predictor of success in life? Brains, rich parents, good looks? None of those, say the experts. The biggest predictor is, can you delay gratification? All right, here's the deal. Marshmallow, for you. You can either wait, and I'll give you another one if you wait, or you can eat it now. It's yummy. Yum. Oh, it smells really good. So can he stand to wait to eat it? This is an experiment that's been tried in many forms with many kids, but the idea is always the same. Test whether a child will eat the candy now or get twice as much if he can wait 15 minutes. As you see here, most kids cannot wait. Only about a third were able to delay, often distracting themselves by looking away. But about a third were able to wait 15 minutes. How'd you do? And earn the extra candy. You wanted to eat it, didn't you? Yeah. So I'll tell you, I'll give you another one? Okay, I can have both. The first group of kids who took this test 40 years ago were followed and tested years later. The kids who didn't eat marshmallows had SAT scores 200 points higher. 213 points higher on average. They were happier, healthier. The kids who successfully delayed gratification at this age do much better later in life. Not just better in school, but they make more money. They are happier. They have better relationships, and they're less likely to get into trouble. But the kids who ate the marshmallows, many of them were in trouble. Yes. Joaquin de Posada replicated the marshmallow experiment in South America. The kids behaved the same way North American kids did. Take a look at this uh, girl. She's actually hyperventilating. She wants the marshmallow badly. They're playing mind games in order not to eat the marshmallow. Most gave it. That kid could not wait not even 10 seconds. This doesn't mean that he'll fail in life, but the researchers say it does mean he's more likely to struggle. So since the data show the ability to delay gratification is really important. So how do you teach this to kids? You teach them skills that will take them to a position where they know that they have to work hard and persevere in order to get whatever they want to get in life. We all have marshmallows that we want now, but some of us have learned to wait. Susan Merrill runs the parenting advice website IMA. When your kids wanted things, you told them you save up for it. They each had three sets of clear jars Share, save, spend. You want to buy something, save your money, it's yours. And seeing the money in the jars reminded them to wait. It's really good for them to see that money grow. They get into it. How much have you saved? I've saved this much. It doesn't need to be money. Prizes, privileges, or praise. When her kids really wanted something, they could have it, but only after they spent a while doing something that was hard for them. Megan was potty training. She wanted this Ariel Mermaid doll. So throw in the prize. The doll. Put it up on the piano. Megan, three days staying dry, and you're going to get that doll. Boom. She did it. She knew success. You can she do this. She could look at the doll. But she couldn't have it. What if the child demands a doll now and throws a fit? It's important not to give in to a tantrum. Giving in teaches kids the opposite of delay gratification. This commercial offers a clever take on it. The boy wants a bag of chips right now. Instead of giving in, mom imitates it. She looks at him like, no. He's embarrassed, he puts the chips back, and that's the end of that. What's the moral? You really, really can work with your kids. I think sometimes parents are just too busy to be consistent, or they're too fearful that their child is not going to like them. Also, lead by example, because it's not what we teach. is how they see you behave. You have to, deal, uh, to teach a child that they should save money for the rainy day, so they have to see you save money. Okay? Kids have to see you do whatever you want them to do. Finally, kids will only learn to wait if they see that delaying gratification leads to something good. Parents must follow through, do what they say. This means that you have to keep promises. If parents don't keep promises, kids are less able to wait for a reward. In this version of the marshmallow test, researchers first promised kids... If you can wait for me to go get some from the other room, you can use our big set of art supplies instead. But then they break their promise. Well, listen, I'm so sorry, but I actually don't have that big set of art supplies I told you about. Once the promise was broken, kids were much more likely to eat the marshmallow. If I eat 100, 
Is trust in the adult message. If you delay gratification, you'll get something better. Had been broken. If a parent is not consistent, then the child will not trust that they will get what is promised. We do this as moms all the time. We say, in a minute, mom, we can play in a minute. And so we're really teaching our children that we don't always mean what we say. The bottom line, tell kids the truth. Teach them the benefits of waiting when they're young. Do you know I do not get this marshmallow on it? And reward them when they do wait. Three of them! Coming up, if you're talking...